What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. All right, my boy. So we spent a couple of days in Ocean City. Yeah. And we cleaned up in Ocean City. We made our Pokedex a little fuller. We caught a bunch of rare guys, hard to find guys, and we caught a bunch of Pokemons that we were trying to build up to their third evolution, right? Second evolution or whatever. Yeah. All right, now. Now we got some goods. Yeah, now everybody knows want. I evolved, uh, I mean, I hatched this Aerodactyl out of an egg during the Halloween event, but how about this Alakazam? Daddy did some evolving, and I got, I got enough guys. Yep, and I got Alakazam out of that. Look at his attack. He's got Shadow. Shadow Ball for 45 and three parts. That's nasty. Pretty cool. So that's one more guy on Daddy's list. I got a better Arbok. Gunk right. Shot. With Gunk Shot, yep. 65. Okay, who else did Daddy get? I got a couple of Arcanines. Oh, now here's an interesting turn of events we discovered today, right? Yeah. Daddy's two Bulbasaurs. And his I and your Ivy sword. Right. The two Bulbasaurs are actually rated better in the Genie. 89 and 86 percent. And when we rated the Bulb uh where was Ivy Sword? He was only 46 percent. That is a big disadvantage. So what we did was we canned the the Venus, the Ivy Sword, I'm sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold on to the two Bulbasaurs. And stock as much as we can until And Venusaur. stock up as much candy as we can until either we get a better Bulbasaur than 89% or we have enough candy to evolve one of these from Ivysaur right to Venusaur. And then we'll have that complete. And we're, we're close, you know? So that's cool. So there's the Bulbasaur and then there's the other Bulbasaur. Not bad, not bad. I know. And then... How about this guy? Charmeleon. Charmeleon. We got oh a problem. Oh my goodness. Well, we do have a problem because we're 45 candies into Charmeleon and we're on our way to Char Charizard. However, look at this. We have a four 542 Charmander that's 98% on the Genie. And what's our Charmeleon? 83. 83%. Not as good. So now we run into the same category as that Bulbasaur. Do we, you know, hold on to this and take our chances? Yeah, we have to hold on to that Charmeleon I, because I think Charizard's so. my favorite character. Because and I'm busting for you, you to go. get a better one. Exactly. Busting. And, and this 83%. So we can just power up this, this nerd yes. on the way to Charizard. Yes. And this 83% is a lot better than the Ivysaur that was at 46%. So this is kind of worth holding on to and seeing what we can do with it. Yeah. But I think we definitely need to get that 98% Charmander. That'll be we, our next um, Charmeleon. I think we, yes. I think we need to get him on in the game. All right. So that was that. Uh, what else? And you know what I got to say about yes. Ivysaur? Yes. Ivysaur, you just got on the list. He just made the list. <laughs> he just made the list. <laughs> That's nasty. We discovered... Uh, my both my cloisters are right. awful and um we actually have this clefairy here 763 which is better than the other clefairy at, at just by a percent better but it's like almost a whole 100 points better in cp so we're gonna hold on to the Get 763 and we're gonna transfer out the 667 yeah and, and now Clefairy, we are one step closer. We got 42 candies on our way to 50, and then Clee Fable is one of the guys Daddy needs to complete the Pokedex. Right? Uh, Dodrio, we took care of that. We got enough Doduo candy to evolve that. And we got enough for another one if we have enough. Uh, yeah, to do yeah. If we catch another good one, we'll have a second Dodrio, which would be pretty awesome. Which we don't. <laughs> no, not yet. But dra we we caught a bunch of uh caught a bunch of junk. Now here's something pretty interesting. Daddy caught this uh 718 Dratini the other night. What was it Sunday night we were driving around? We we got this Dratini and we're like, wow, well that's gotta be pretty good, right? So where's Dratini here? He's a 60 76%. So that's not that awful. But look at the dragon air we already have. 90. 96%. Oh, easiest way. Something just spawned. I'm excited to find out what it is. A ghastly. It's a ghastly. I totally don't even care. <laughs> uh, 
But look at this Jesus. dragon hair. Are you ready? Here, here is one step closer to completing the Pokedex. A dragon. Do you want to hit the evolve button? Go sure. right ahead, my guy. I'm ready. Dun 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 dun. I'm ready for a dragon. Dun dun dun. I'm ready for dun, a dun. dragon. Dun dun. This takes so long. Didn't they cut the time yeah. on the evolution? They cut it when the uh, there it is it rises. Registering to the Pokedex. Bang. Dragonite 2225. What's he got for the deck? Dragon Ball. I will take it. That is very, very nice. That's a nice dragon. Wow. That is cool. That's a pretty good one. That is. That's like almost max to your end of days. That is awesome. Alright, so. Wow. I got a farm of Eevees ready to go here. Yeah. Uh, here's my end of days. Now, if you guys watched the other video, we went and named a bunch of Pokemons of ours. But it sucks because, like, this end of days, when I put it in a gym and somebody else is looking at it, they see Arcanine. They don't see end of days. So yeah. why have the ability to name your guys? If you don't even see if, them. If, you, you know, if your opponent can't see that he's facing the end of days. That's kind of dumb, in my opinion. Um, here's another one. This Execute. Into Executor. Yes, uh, 590, uh, 590 Execute. Where was he? Right down there. 93% on the Genie. This is going to make a very pretty Executor. Fourth one. And this will be our fourth one, exactly. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this might be the best one yet. I love Dragonite. Dun, 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 dun. Dragonite's that shiny. Dragonite is awesome, right? That beats that Lapras story. Yeah. The there he is. 1591 Executor. Show me the solar beam. Seed no. bomb. A seed bomb. But seed bomb is a pretty vicious move out there. So I'll take it. I'll take it. And the other the other executors we have, um one has psychic for 83% on the genie. Solar beam. Solar beam 76% on the genie. And then psychic. And another psychic attack for 78 on the genie. So they're not awful, but, you know, they're, they're not... They're good. Yeah, they're okay. All right, so who else is uh, as a highlight of the day? Out of, like, the 20 Gengars I caught on the um, Halloween event, my boy, this Gengar is the only one worthwhile, and he wasn't even that good in the Genie. So he stinks. Uh, what about the Ghastly? Giuseppe! <laughs> I love, I love this, this Vaporeon. But again... When I put Giuseppe in the gym, you see Vaporeon, so that stinks. Uh, what else? Let's see. Golem was one of our recent additions. Yeah, I Stone got enough. Edge. Yeah, Graveler Candy to evolve that. Graveler Candy? Geodude Candy. Geodude. To, to evolve Graveler to Golem. And he's got the Stone Edge attack, so that's pretty cool. Um, what about that nine? There's my something? army of Laprases. <laughs> Oh, I got a new coughing. Oh, jeez. I got a new coughing today, right? In Ocean yeah, City? Did. Where'd it go? You hatched it today. I hatched it. Is that what I did? And it's good. So now we're up to 27 candies on our way to Weezing. Weezing is one of the guys we're missing. And you tell them about how you were tracking them down on both of our phones. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. It was like my, my phone's tracking nearby was the complete opposite order that Feisty Pants' order was on. So, like, where I had Kabuto first or second, Feisty Pants had him, like, seventh or eighth, and we were having a hard time tracking him down. And Kabutops is another guy that I need. Nowhere close on this guy. Seven candies out of 50. Him. And you have it on yours. I'm very, very proud of you, my boy. You walked him as your buddy for, like, the longest time. 30 kilometers I yeah. walked that dude. Uh, I got a Machoke over here. We're close on him. 61 candies out of a hundred and I got two Machops I have to kind of weigh in on the genie I guess I forgot to do that so we're close there I got a Magikarp I, this 149 Magikarp is a 98% on the genie so that's that's gonna be a banging Gyarados I can't wait my Mana War is just Tentacool where is uh where's he at anyway, there he is um He's a 96% on the genie, and, you know, he's he's pretty cool. I've been powering him up. 
He's got the sludge wave attack. He's pretty cool. Uh, who else? Let's see. Oh, Muck the Hut. I uh, I evolved Grimer. Muck? Grimer? Yeah, Grimer. Into Muck. Muck. Yeah, I got enough to evolve him. And tell them about what popped on track as soon as we were leaving today. Yeah, he he popped up on the on the way home, right? Yeah, you we were head, Muck. heading up 9th Street in Ocean Ocean City. And what comes up on track was like uh, third or fourth place was Muck. Grimer. Yeah. Oh, it was Grimer. It wasn't Muck. Oh. And then Ammonite. Um, I'm walking this 547 Ammonite, and then I caught this 702 Ammonite today. And uh, where's Ammonite? Oh, I totally didn't rate them. But the 702 is better. I'm gonna wait till I complete my next kilometer before I cash in on that um, 547 Ammonite. And he's 28 candies out of 50. He's Amistar is another guy that I'm missing out of the decks. Me too. My 635 Pikachu um, has Discharge, Discharge for 35 and three parts. And he rated himself a whopping 69%. However, the other Pikachu I have, which is 620, this is like my first good Pikachu. I've been battling... Powering him up since like 40, 400? Yeah. I got him at like 400 and I've been powering him up. He's got the thunder attack. And you're not easy to evolve. And I'm not going to evolve this one. He's just going to stay with thunder. He's going to be the best Pikachu there ever is. Well, guess there ever what? was and there ever will be. I had and he's a 78%. A... Tell me about your Pikachu. I myself evolved a Pikachu. You did? Well, I did too. I got From the Thunderbolt. I got the Raichu in here somewhere. For 55 there is. And got Raichu with yeah. Thunder. See, I had another Pikachu with the Thunder Attack, and I evolved him into Raichu to complete the Pokedex. But I got a lousy attack with it, so I got a great this. attack. You did get a great attack. I was lucky. Here, here's the uh, the trauma that is Polyrath. I got these two Polyraths, both with Hydro Pump, and they stink. There are 47 and a 44% in the genie. So I got a Poliwag at 95% and I already got a Poliwhirl at 90%. And I'm working on evolving those to replace the two Poliwags. Wonder what you all you can do on. Uh oh, all right. Let's let's do that Poliwhirl. Good. This is going to be great. Yeah, definitely great. I'm curious to see what attack I get. Hopefully it's Hydro Pump or something equally as awesome. Blizzard and not like Lousy. Yeah, not like Water Pulse for like 30 and 5 parts. Because <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Polyrath 1903! Submission, Submission! For 30 and 3 parts. Okay, well, but that's still pretty cool. That that guy, he's going to be he's gonna be worthwhile. He's going to be a lot better than those other Polyraths we have, so that's fine. Uh, I fixed up my Rhydon. He's a lot better than the last one I had. Uh, I got a sand tree that's ready to evolve. I got a seal ready to evolve. Uh, I got a couple of slow bows I'm looking to replace. And this 714 slow poke is a 74% 74, 74%. We're gonna take our chances because the 472, you know, that's like that's like almost 300 CP lower for 83%. So we're gonna take our chances with that Snorlax. With that slow poke. And Snorlax we caught Sunday night, just on a whim. He's lousy, he's got a terrible genie rating, but I got a Snorlax. And he's got an Earthquake. <laughs> and he's got an Earthquake, and that's all that matters. And I got him too. Yes, yes, Our Feisty, champ Feisty and Pants. And the other one got him too. Yes, Feisty Pants caught one, and Original Champ caught one, e and A-Rox e caught one. We all caught the same Snorlax. E-Rox got the best one, hers was at 1200 and something, right? Just 1200. Yeah. Uh, there's my army of Vaporeons. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, nice. And War Turtle is actually really good. Uh, we picked, we got a couple of squirrels tonight in Ocean City. A couple on Sunday, and I'm up to 56 candies now. Wonder what you at, what you at for your Weeping Mill. Check it out. Oh. 68 out of 100. Alright, are you ready to evolve a couple of these guys? Yeah, baby! Alright, I'm gonna stop this right here.